Hi Stampers! Rose Grunald here coming at you from my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you how I made this gorgeous card that I'm entering into Kylie Rutucci's International Blog Highlights um, Challenge. The theme for this challenge is love, and when I looked on my stamp set shelf to cut some inspiration, I found my Hold On To Hope stamp set, and I knew that um, this would be perfect for this challenge. So I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, this card has three layers. We've got our card base. And that scored, or sorry, cut at five and a half by eight and a half. We'll fold that in half later as we're creating the card. We've got a top layer here that we're doing our stamping and embossing work on. And this card layer is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth this way. And then um, this layer is just going to go behind the top layer. This is cut down to five and a quarter by four. Uh, so basically what you're doing is you're making your front layer an eighth of an inch smaller so that you just have that little bit of color peeking out around the edges. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is I took the sentiments from the Hold On To Hope set. I took the two big ones and I wanted to kind of stamp them all over my card base. Um, so I've got those mounted and I'm going to show you how I did that. Now I wanted to emboss it so that I could use the emboss resist technique. So this is some ink kind of sponged around here. I'll show you how I did that. And <clears throat> so to do that, first we need to emboss our card and so we're going to use our Versamark ink. Now when I stamp these sentiments I'm keeping in mind where I want the cross and where I want these words to kind of pop out of. So I'm going to move my light here a bit so I can see where I already stamped. And then I'm going to come in with the other sentiment here, which is celebrating one of God's most remarkable creations. And I'm going to fill in the areas that are open. Again, this is being stamped in Versamark. And then we're going to use our embossing powder to emboss. Okay, now this is a little storage tip for my embossing powders. I just bought a Tupperware that closes really nice. Um, I think I got it at Walmart. And I'm looking for my white. I store all my embossing powders in here. And as we emboss here, you'll see why this makes it so easy. So I've got my card stamped in Versamark. I'm going to come in here and pour my embossing powder over it and then I carefully turn it so that the powder kind of slides down over the other areas. Now I can easily put this in the corner and dump it back in my powder. and then fill in any areas that I missed. I've got some areas along the edges, so I'm just gonna pick some of that up. That looks nice. And I notice here that there's some areas down here I didn't stamp. So I'm just gonna come back in here this spilled powder out of the way. Just 
stamp it. Now, you may have noticed that I did not use my embossing buddy before I poured or did my stamping. Now, the reason I did that is because I've got so much embossing here that I wasn't really worried about my powder sticking in between because there was going to be a stamp there anyway. Now, the nice thing about my storage this way is that when I'm done, I just put everything back in here and it's ready to go for the next time I want to use my embossing powder. Clear off my workspace a bit here. Okay, now I've got another tip for you when it comes to embossing. Um, the one thing that you hate, I hate when it happens, is when I turn on my heat tool and my powder blows all over the place. So I'm going to show you a method that keeps your powder from going everywhere. We've got our heat tool. You're going to want to turn it on and get it nice and warm first. And then we're going to come in from the back side of the card. if you'd be able to hear me over the heat tool but I want to explain here the reason I'm heating it from the back side is because then it sets the layer on or sorry it sets the embossing powder powder onto the layer of the card um, that's directly touching the card and then it kind of moves up and melts the powder through the rest of the layers and this way your powder isn't blowing all over the place okay so now that we've got that taken care of, we are going to come in and use our embossed resist technique and we're going to sponge over the top of these embossed words. I use our gold binder clips to grab a piece of a stampin' sponge. I get that inked up a bit and then I just kind of come in here 
and sponge over the top. Now I'm not sponging this whole layer, just a bit so that it is going to be peeking out behind the cross that I'll be putting on here. Oh, that turns out awesome. Now, after you've got it sponged, you're going to want that white to really, the white embossed area to really pop. So you can come in here with a baby wipe and lightly go over the area that you sponge and you can see some of that blue that got stuck on that embossing powder comes right off. Okay, now we're ready to mount this to our next layer. I'm gonna use some liquid glue. Just around the outside edge, a little in the middle here. I love the liquid glue. You barely need any of it to get your layers set. And next we're going to come in with a piece of our, let's see, what ribbon is this? I think this is just Whisper White Ribbon. And I like to use just some scotch tape to secure it in place. You can also use, I think you can use your snails. If you still have some fast fuse, you can use that. I'm a tape gal. There we go. Okay, now we're going to want to mount our cross here. Now I just want to show you the cross that I use is coming from the Cross of Hope Framelits Dies, and you can get this, I believe, as a bundle in the Occasions Catalog and save 10%. I love saving money, so that's a good deal. Now, this has a lot of dies. Some of these here are going to coordinate, so if you use this God is Love banner, this um, die kind of coordinates with that. We've got a die that coordinates with those pretty flowers. Of course, a die for the cross, but you get some extra ones in here. So this one goes with this cross, and we've got our butterfly. But we've also got, um, this would be really pretty, I think, to do like a white cross and maybe some silver foil paper with this thinner cross. And then you've got a smaller one, too, that you can add. So you've got a lot in here. I wanted to make sure that this layer... Um, would lightly show through the color that I did here. So I actually stamped the, sorry, die cut the cross and vellum. And then I used this intricate, really pretty flowery cross. I did that in Whisper White. And I want to adhere this to my vellum. Now this is some pretty intricate stuff going on. So you've got two ways that you could glue this. Um, you can have a piece of Stampin' Sponge devoted just to gluing, and you can glue this onto a silicone mat, dab your sponge, and kind of dab it along the back side of that cross. I actually really like using my fine tip glue pen for this. And so I just pick a few areas, I go around the edge, I mean, really, you're not needing a lot of glue to get this glued down. You could also use our adhesive sheets. My fine tip glue pen is just always at my fingertips, and so that's my go-to. I'm just going to line this up onto my vellum piece. Right. Next, I, when I had originally mounted this, oops, oh my gosh, that didn't even glue down. Ah. 
So another tip, make sure you let your glue dry before you try to move it around, especially on vellum. It's got that kind of glossy feel to it. There we go. Once I had this mounted, I thought, gosh, this is really missing something. So I went to my stash and I found the Celebrate Youth Thinlets dies. And these dies are a celebration item. They're free with a $100 purchase. I love free stuff. They come with Amazing You and Celebrate. And they coordinate with this Amazing You Celebration stamp set. Um, which is also gorgeous. Now, after I had this created, I got to thinking, you know, I could have put this behind the cross and did the embossed resist technique as well. And I think that would have been really pretty. So I've already die cut this. I wanted a little bling. So I already die cut this in silver foil paper so that we're ready to go. And I'm just going to glue this down over the top here. We got the bottom edges coming up, so I just want to secure that. Okay. Now, once we get this on our paper, I'm going to want this here, so I'm going to put my glue behind the last half of the Z into the I going into the N. We're just going to hold this down a bit to get it to dry. And I wanted my cross up on dimensionals. So I'm going to use our mini dimensionals and put one here behind this thicker area and then right behind my letters where it's going to have the white ribbon behind it so that we're not able to really see those much. All right, we've got that mounted. And now we're ready to put on our card base. Now, again, we don't need to score our pieces when we're folding our cards the short way because we're going with the grain of the paper. And I'm just going to come in here with some dimensionals. I like one in the center, too, for a little more stability on that layer. I get this centered on my card front. Boy, these buggers really grab right away. There we go. And I wanted just a little more sparkle and bling, so I'm going to come in here with my Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Grab a few of these with my paper piecing tool and just add a little bit of bling to this card. And we're done. Isn't that pretty? I love the embossed resist technique. 
All right, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Make sure that you are liking my Facebook page, Country Cards by Rose, and also that you subscribe to my blog to get more ideas from me. My blog is at countrycardsbyrose.com. If you place an order with me, you will also be invited to join my VIP group where I like to spoil my customers with alternate ideas that I'm not posting on my blog or my regular Facebook page. So you just get access to a little bit more of my creations. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you vote for me in Kylie's international challenge so that my amazing love from God card can um, win this challenge. I really appreciate you checking out my video and your votes. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.